unless the last two are higher than the first, then it would be 4, 3, 3, 5, 2, 1. These grubs. One, two, three, four, five. Switched the twos and the fours and it worked. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> Save Saving that shit so hardcore. Turn to game. What the How fuck? Can I save these children from such an atrocity? <sighs> How can I save these children from such an atrocity? Uh, kill the queen. This looks like part of the great machine, but I can't move it. I need something to stop this machine. Only then can I disengage and remove it. Could you use the sledgehammer? No luck. Could you use the tools? There you go. Hmm. No. A piece of machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. Yes. Uh. A piece of machinery. I A sound generator. That won't solve anything. Let's talk to this she's dude. She's half bug. Yes. But she still seems aware as a cyclops. <sighs> Who are you? Ungarella. She's I'm hot. surprised to see another cyclops in the hive. Especially in the queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall? Of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the makers. Thank you, McKnight, for subscribing, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you to the people that were subscribing, that subscribed while I was doing that puzzle. I was so con to tune in on the puzzle, didn't say thank you, but thank you. Thank you all. You guys are awesome. Where are you from? The city. Of course. I was part of Grona's research team before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Gromna betray your team? It's a little complicated, but I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you'd like. Sure. I don't have much time. But I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us. But Grona convinced the Queen to let us live. Although now, I wish we had been killed swiftly, instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgeries. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the Insectoid's plans? It doesn't. Gromna has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments, his failures. 
We've been assigned to work here until we die. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short lives a little less painful. It's saddens me to see them suffer so. How does this thing work? It's basically a large transfusion machine. Blood is drawn out of the clones and fed to the queen. Is there any way to shut it down? Not that I know of. Gromna built it himself with some strange parts. Only he knows how it truly works. Thank you, Lohazi, for subscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Is the crackling gone? I can fix that. Okay, there we go. So, do I have all the parts I need, or is there another one? Their blood is being drained by this infernal machinery! This reminds me of like the Matrix kind of a thing. Yeah. That won't solve anything. Well, let's go give this piece to the dude. I'll have to climb up there somehow. Oh, there you go. After long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders. Oh, invaders. that is the queen. Tomorrow. Your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? Well, I am one of them. I, too, have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me. And my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids. Typical politician, talking out his ass. Controls of some sort, their purpose unknown. I'd best leave them alone for now. Strange, they seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. Uh... 
These screams show the enemy horde cheering Gromna's speech. There are so many of them. Surely the Cyclops race will be destroyed unless I can stop the insectoids. Is there... What do you need? <sighs> Too big to carry down the rope. Even with four hands, that would be difficult. I must find another way. Um... A piece of mission. A sledgehammer. Sledgehammer? I can't use that here. That would harm even me. A piece of machinery. A sound generator. That would harm. I can't. I. Mm. That uh, can you go that way? No. Not that. No. Strange. They seem to mark an entrance. To nowhere. To nowhere. Strange. goes back down. Um, how can you get that down there? Let me give this one piece back and we'll see what the other guy says. Ugh. You're, I'm traveling. When you're doing this, you're like traveling through the poop shoots of this queen. That's sick. That's disgusting. Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? Apparently, yeah. A, a piece of mis <laughs> Oh, God. That's sick. Oh. Let's go give them this part and see if maybe we come up this another way. This building appears to serve some special function. Uh, right, let's go back down the machine. Huh? Oh, great! Now I'm stranded here! Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. Crap! Well, how can I... Well, I have your machinery. A piece of machi Oof! Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful! How could I have been so wrong about Kromna? DNA test cycle initiated. Perfect! Exactly. No! Molecular cohesion negative. There's the portal. What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Um, Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. Goodbye. Well, there's the portal, so the other one was right by the machine. Just gotta grab that. Let's go back in. Gotta go in her butthole again, which is dripping green slime, which is disgusting. Oh, God, that's sick. We're being... I'm being shat. Even the doorway is... Oh, thank God. <laughs> um. I was like, no, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do the puzzle again. No, make me do it. That's it! All along! 
The answer has been right here! Right in front of my eyes the whole time! Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now! Hold on! I figured it out! The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this I can open a doorway anywhere! I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the Hive. That's it! The fuck? What the fuck? You've done some incredible work, Max. It's really a shame. Now where am I? That Cyclops? Bugs? Mother? All of these monsters must mean something, but what? How do you keep end up teleporting everywhere? The fuck? Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. It, it, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep. Like me, forever. F forever? You must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Need to get out of here. That door is the only way. Uh. The doors have frozen shut. The doors. All of them? The doors. Must open the door and get out of here. What the? F this game loves that loves these puzzles, doesn't it? All these damn, <laughs> all these damn things you just have to randomly guess what's going on with them. Some other switch somewhere I'm not seeing. I can't move these. I don't know what this is doing. something in this puzzle. Door 
doors have frozen shut. <gasps> Gotcha. Like a boss. What the hell? Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. The tag on this body says seven. No, maybe something else. A bunch of tools in here. Want to grab them tools? A yeah. monkey wrench. Um. Well, this isn't working. No, maybe something else. Is there like a clue or something? The tag on this body says two. The tag on this. The tag on this one says nine. There are no names on these tags. This just says six. Sixty-nine. Hmm. A pipe U joint. Too far away. A pipe. Joint. Can I smoke How am it? I supposed? No. Let's go out. Flashback again. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me. Cutting my research department in half, pulling most of my funding, despite the fact that my department, my research, is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know, I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Bastard! Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... I apologize. No, it, it's all right. Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look, you don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. I wish I understood. I don't trust that guy. A book of matches. Take them. Nice oak desk. Sturdy. Yeah, very. There's a... an empty brass urn. Take it. Out there. Interesting style. At least it's not a gargoyle. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. The stone says, Eric R. Get to work, you maggots. Save. 